Hello, my name is Duncan Alderdice, and the reason I'm making these videos is to document the journey I take as I become who I am. Today was a really good day. Uh, 33 dials on the day, kind of low, but also um, 14 messages sent out on LinkedIn, also kind of low. But two book demos. Both book demos were booked for that same day, which was interesting. The There was a dial one that I called twice, then sent a text message, and then they used that text message link to book a demo um, later that day. That demo then had to be rescheduled because they hadn't completed the questionnaire and wanted to take time to look at this, but I just liked the attitude of them because I was like, okay, well, can you do tomorrow morning at 11? And he's like, done. Uh, <laughs> As well as he described, like he was going like, I'm looking for a vendor who can provide opportunities for my advisors who, for, or my people for, who need like financial planning, IULs and annuities. Is that what you do? And it's like, wow, that's exactly what we do. And then it, I said like the ideal client profile is kind of like a financial advisor or a life insurance agent only if they do IULs and annuities. And then he's like, yeah, we offer the holistic approach. I'm like, fantastic, that's perfect. So that was booked. Then there was another one booked in the morning that I didn't think was gonna go well, actually in Quebec, but it did go well. Got to the close, too many bad experiences in the past, so we need to figure out how to get past that. But follow up book for next week, which they have or have not accepted. Accepted for plans for follow up, so that's good. That's on the, like next Wednesday. So should have an answer. Probably could have done better in the call, not discounting too quick, but I think it was just more, uh, well, like, we'll see. And then there was the last one, which was, uh, I was doing LinkedIn prospecting and sent out those 14 messages in the morning and then got a reply from the guy essentially going like, if it wasn't a prospecting message, I'd be offended. Uh, again, the reaction from that sort of verbiage is positive. Also the dials I did make that were cold calls on the day that I sent out, I got like a, a couple like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll give you the time. Yeah, for sure. Or laughs or whatever. I'd like again, just reinforcing that, tell people exactly why you're talking to them and they will give you a better response rather than going like, what do you want from me? It's like, I'll tell you what I want from you. I want to know if you're the person we help and potentially I might sell to you. If you don't want that to happen, then hang up the phone and you're allowed to. So, but then, so that, that one was booked the same day. I was kind of hoping that then I could get them booked on LinkedIn saying like, that was one where sent out the message, kind of good responses, uh, like, like, hey, interested. And then I was like, what qu questions do you have initially? Then he sent like a, like three fat paragraph questions. I replied with three fat paragraph questions and then ending with like, let me know if it makes sense to talk further. And then the next thing I knew, maybe 10 minutes after I sent that message, he had clicked on the book an appointment link on my LinkedIn profile and booked a meeting with me directly because I saw the email notification saying like, you've been booked. So that was nice. Was kind of hoping that I would, would have been able to book and close him in the same day. That's a challenge. That'd be cool if I could do that at one point, um, which is definitely possible. Didn't happen today, but we'll see. Uh, but then it was at the end, like he was going like, I'll think it over the weekend and get back to you. I have your name and phone number. And I was like, let's get something on the calendar. And then he was like, well, not, I didn't say it like that, but I was going like, I'll, I'll give you the time to think about it, but for sure, like, let's just put a date to it so you can make a decision for yourself. And then he's like, you're good at your job. And I was like, fucking yeah. And the reason he said he's good at your job is because you, at the end of a sales meeting, you always need to know the next time you're speaking. That I think I did make a mistake on the last time when I was talking about a guy who said that there was potential for, talking to the big firm, I knew the guy would get back to me and he did and they end up buying, but it probably would have been better to book enough, like just have something on the calendar to have that conversation. Potentially got him could have got could have got him him on a higher level but the other thing i was thinking about was, was that it that's it yeah that was it the other thing i was thinking about is i an, a video idea that i actually could create i was brainstorming today is like how i closed a 10k deal because that's kind of youtube title thumbnail click baby but also is true but also is separate from the other normal things you see in that sort of space which is like this is what you should do blah 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 it's like, I, like, but it actually, it, it's, it's, I'm not telling the person watching what they need to be doing. I'm telling the person watching what I did to get this outcome. And then, so no one can challenge me on that because I did it. <laughs> like he's going, no, you can't do it. That will never work. And I go, but it did because <laughs> I did it. But I think the, the, the theme of that video would be more to be emphasizing all of the work that went into leading up to the deal. 
which includes the dials before actually connecting with the guy and then the follow-ups with that and then uh, all of it because it's like I, I it's easy to say going like oh here are the three easy steps just to close a 10k deal but really what it is is like like my thought is it's like okay if the demo was booked in the end of november like well all of the dials and cold calls i had made up until that point were necessary in order for me to handle that call well and like so you could say the cold call line is the sneaky trick that like, got me the demo booked but then i also needed to the, like i also needed to stay in touch with them and actually build a sense of rapport build that trust um like i think i could just i would it would be nice to walk through each little thing that i did that i can recognize like i feel that would be potentially informative and at the very least would be useful for me to actually document to look back on at some point and be like i could identify each little step to then go like hey let's say i'm having a bad month which i don't fully believe in at this point I think that just you're performing poorly that I can be like going like, hey, remember that time I closed that 10K deal? What were all the things that I did that led up to that huge success? Am I doing all of those things right now? And if the answer is no, well, then we know what to do next. Uh, so that was a cool, fun idea. What else? Do um, <laughs> not. The kitties are getting up. I think that's all I have to say. There's nothing else coming to mind. Oh, uh, that was the last thing. The, the, a bunch of people closed deals today, but one of the deals that closed was originally someone I booked as a demo with when I was a junior AE. And my junior booking demos was the only thing, which then made me think, I should go through the list of people that I booked demos for to see which people haven't aren't being worked anymore to like re-engage those potential prospects. Could be a cool, fun time. I'll talk to you later.